Alstom is very committed to the success of carbon capture and storage. We are working on five technologies, focusing on oxy-firing and post-combustion technologies. The reason we have chosen these two types of technologies is because they're retrofitable to the installed base. And in this way, it will be possible to apply them to the existing and power plants that are built in the future so as to significantly reduce CO2 emissions. If we look at the governmental targets uh, for, say, 2030, um, those targets will not be achieved unless we uh, implement all of the potential technologies, more renewables, return to nuclear, carbon capture and storage. And uh, since in 2030, 60% of the CO2 emissions from power generation will come from plants that are either already operating today or in the process of construction. We consider technologies that can be applied to the installed base is a very important part of success. Many of the technologies are demonstrated at a laboratory scale, but they need to be scaled up, and many of them are in the stage of pilot demonstration. Uh, this year we started two pilot demonstrators, an oxy-firing PC boiler at Schwarzer Pumper with Vattenfall in Germany, and a chilled ammonia post-combustion capture project with Wisconsin Energies in the United States of America. And those pilots are running, we're going to start two more next year. Um, they will bring our understanding of this technology to a small demonstration scale. The next step is to build a large demonstrator. Our proposal that there should be 10 to 12 large-scale demonstrators built in Europe in the next uh, five years has been proposed and accepted by the European Commission and we are uh, happy to see the move in terms of the legislative steps at the end of last year which look extremely promising that uh, this, uh, uh, th this technology will progress. Alstom uh, in, it will be ready commercially in 2015 which we believe is in time for a, for a, a wide deployment uh, around 2020. There isn't one solution. The, the average power plant efficiency worldwide is, is only 30%. So improving the efficiency is a really important step that we need to take, and there are technologies to do that. Carbon capture and storage is a, a vital thing to make fossil fuels closer to being sustainable in terms of not emitting so much carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. But we need as much renewables as possible, we need a return to nuclear, and we need new storage technologies to allow us to balance the load of these new intermittent power sources. But CCS is vital and we need to get on with the demonstrators now.